Grinch who stole Christmas could apply to this story. Thieves broke into a small business on the city's east side just days ago. They stole expensive power tools and left the business in shambles. But as News 4 Tucson Lapita Murillo found out the thieves stole much more and she joins us live from the store there now. Lupita. Early Monday morning, thieves made their way into this business by breaking through the window, climbing inside and creating all kinds of problems. Total damages about $6,500. But what the thieves really did was steal Christmas from hardworking employees. It's, it's very frustrating to have to sit there and and tell my employees, sorry, you know, I'm going to try and make it up to you, but I'm not going to be able to give you the Christmas bonus I wanted to. Tony Bartz is the business owner and surveillance cameras from inside the store captured the thieves stealing and destroying his hard earned money. It looked like the person had potentially been here before. They knew exactly where to stand, where to walk and what to take. Bartz opened the doors to the business in July. He bought it in 2020 when the pandemic hit. When the thieves stole the expensive power tools and left the place in shambles, it kept him from working at delivering the product to his customers, taking orders, creating the signs and installing them. It, it really took away a full day and a half's worth of uh, productivity. The theft also impacted Ben Orr, one of the employees who was supposed to get a Christmas bonus. Basically, it's feels like you work so hard and then somebody comes and just takes it and it's gone. The Christmas bonus Orr was going to receive now has to go towards paying the deductible for the insurance. I've got a good boss and, you know, things will come back around. But, you know, we're just trying to keep positive around here. Bartz has a message for the thieves. I can understand, you know, trying to make a living, but there's better ways to do it than stealing from somebody else. While Tony Bartz is feeling the effects of this crime, Tucson police report that property crimes on the east side are actually down by 600 cases over last year. Last year, they had a total of 4,329. Reporting live from the east side, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.